Hey, how's it going? And today we're going to be exploring the Lyra animations, how we might get access to them. Along the way, we'll be creating an animation blueprint and briefly exploring blend spaces. So there's a lot to cover. We've migrated all of our Lyra assets, the animations over into our own separate project now in a different project folder. Where we last left off, if you hit play, we had our third person player character and basically we attached the Lyra mesh. So, so we have all our same functionality, nothing's really changed. It's just that we have the Lyra mesh on there now. But I want to show you something. If I hit escape, there's a couple things I want to I want to go over. So first, if we come into mannequins, animations, we have our animation blueprint for Manny and Quinn. Manny actually controls Quinn. It's like a parent of Quinn. So we actually want to look in the APB Manny for something here. So if we come in here, and we go to the asset browser, you'll see that we have all just the default animations. We don't have any of the Lyra animations. So these are just all the run of the mill standard animations that come in Unreal Engine, and we don't have any of the Lyra ones, although we've imported them and they're in here. So we can't get to them through these animation blueprints. We need to create our own animation blueprint. And the other thing I wanna tell you is before we get into this, I would highly advise you to come here to go to file and zip your project so that if it crashes or you get it all messed up, you can go back and basically restore it to where you were early on. So it's not a bad idea to zip your project as you go along, especially complicated projects, because it's possible that you can really mess something up and you're not going to be able to undo it. And it's always nice to have that zipped file that you can go back to and restore. So anyway, to get started on this, I'm going to right click, we're going to create an animation blueprint. So we go to animation, animation blueprint right here. And we got to make sure that we select our hero's skeletal, skeleton. So we click that one, it's the blue one. There's a UE5 and a UE4 in here, we don't want those, and we go create. And it's going to be called APB underscore hero. It looked like we had a successful migration of assets over, but it looks like some references were broken some things aren't working as they should 100 percent and so we're going to try to figure those out as we go but we should be able to create a fully functioning game but there are some things that got wonkified during the migration of assets over and that's to be expected because lyra is such an expansive and extensive game so anyway if we click into here now into this animation blueprint and we come over to the asset browser, you'll see now we have access to all those wonderful animations as well as the default animations. So we've got access pretty much to everything here, this whole library of animations that we can use for all different kinds of things. So that's really exciting to be able to do that. So like I had mentioned earlier, it's almost like having our own animation starter pack. But again, there might be some broken references and things that we need to fix as we go, but we will solve those problems as they arise. And you'll see one coming very soon. So to get started, let's say we've got our animation blueprint. Now let's say if we go back into the third person player character right here, and we go over, we can be on the viewport here. If we come over to the, where it says animation mode and it says APB Quinn, we can switch that to the one we just made. And you'll notice, if I hit Alt, notice the position that the character's in right now. It's almost like an A pose, right? So I hit Compile, and I hit Save, and I go into the new map, and I hit Play. Well, we have movement, but we don't have any animation. So I can, I'm using WASD keys to get around here. So we have movement, but no animation. So this might be good if it was a Revenge of the Mannequins or something, but not for anything else so we want to add the animation to this character so i'll hit escape and then we'll go back into our apb hero here now i'm looking for a blend space so let's see because that's what could help us and we could build these from scratch but i just prefer to take one that's already built here so here's one here called jog walk now notice it's called jog walk it's not called idle jog walk so let's double, we can double click it and see it right here. 
we can go back to our AP here, right here. Let me just close that window and just drag this onto our scene like that. Drag it on right here and hook it up right here. Now what it's going to need is a speed variable. So we're going to right click and promote that to a variable. So now we have a speed barrel we'll compile and save. And there's that. Now, if we go back into our game, hit play, you see we've got a compilation error. And so let's go ahead and it says footsteps effect tag modifier. So in the Lyric game, when the character walks, there's like puffs of smoke that come up. We didn't import all that functionality. So now we're getting an error because our linkages are broken and we didn't really want that effect anyway. So let's click into this and we'll see kind of what the problem is here. Let's see, there's a lot of things it's looking for that it can't find. We're not even going to get into all that. So instead of deleting all this code, we're just going to click Alt and disconnect those wires like that. So we might come back and look at this later, but so that's why we don't want to delete it. So we'll hit compile and save. And now if we come in and hit play, you see there's our character walking. And you'll notice when we when it comes in, it basically just stays in the default state. And you'll also notice that the character is off the ground. So let's see if we can fix that too real fast. So go back into the BP third person here and let's see, can we pause this animation there? Okay. Come back in here to the BP third person and where it says negative 90, we're just going to type in negative 92 and that lowers them. We'll save that. Come back in our new map hit play. And now we're on the ground. So all we need to do is code in some logic and fix our blend space because we want the character cut to come in. So let's go back in, in an idle, idle mode. So if we double click into this, we can go into our blend space right here and let's go ahead and pause that. And so this is our walk forward right here. You can see it at a speed 200 and you can see our jog forward is at a speed 400. We can just click this and drag this to about the middle right there. And then we can come over here and look for our different animations. We can search for one called unarmed idle. And I might have to pull this window out so I can see them a little bit better. Idle ready. This one right here. So let's see, these are MM, so we might as well get the MM well, I guess that we don't have that one. I don't ready. So let's just get this one here, MF. And drag this onto the scene right there. Like that. And then if we come up here to horizontal axis, you'll see the speed over here is 200. But we can just set that to zero. Like that. And then it shifts everything. So we can just drag this back over here and drag that into the middle. And if we hit control and drag around, we can see our animation in different poses there, right? As we drag and control there. So let's hit save on that. And now let's go back into our animation blueprint. And here it is right here. So that's great. And let's hit play. We don't see anything happen yet. So let's go into the event graph and we just have a few things to take care of here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to right click and go event begin play right here. And we're going to create a reference to our BP first person. So we're just going to drag off of here and go cast to BP third person character right there. This try get pawn owner is going to go in there and here we're just going to promote that to a variable. So we have a reference to our blueprint third person character because there's some variables in there that we need to get. So we're gonna drag it off of here. And the first one we're gonna get is called get velocity. So we type in get velocity and it's gonna be down here on the bottom. And off of this node, we're just gonna type vector length, this one right here. 
and then lastly all we're gonna do is drag off our speed variable here and set it and so this goes in here and this goes in here and if we compile and save and go back into the new map and hit play our character comes in idle mode and then if I hit W they take off running like normal like they normally do they hit S and that's it so this was just an introductory exploration into how we could maybe get started with building some animations understanding blend spaces understanding the animation blueprint and things like that and so this is just the first step in that process so stay tuned and I hope to have more videos like this and remember to back up your project as you're doing these because it's very possible for them to get glitched up and, and then create a problem that you can't quite ever get over. So anyway, I'll talk to you next time. Take care and have a great day.